Azov store has clearly become a symbol of Ukraine's fierce defense against Russia. What makes it special is the underground fortress in the steel plant and the focus of attention as it is the last holdout in the strategic port city. The steel plant has been largely reduced to rubber amid Russian bombardment. The plant's tunnel network has sheltered Ukrainian defenders and has become a story of heroism for the country. Azov store is one of the largest metallurgical plants in the world, located east of the port city of Mariupol. This factory was built in 1930 with almost full support and funding of the Soviet Union. In 1933, Azov store's first metallurgical line came into operation. This was considered a gift of the Soviet Union to Ukraine. Thousands of workers from all over Ukraine then flocked to Mariupol to work, with the goal of turning Azov store into one of the world's leading metallurgical centers. Not only the factory, the seaport in Mariupol was also built so that the cargo ships could easily reach Azov store. Azov store covers an area of about 11 square kilometers with many buildings, smelters, and a maze of roads and underground tunnels. The Azov store plant was designed by Soviet engineers to be able to ensure production even in wartime conditions. Specifically, under a soap store, there are six underground works, about 24 kilometers long, built of reinforced concrete. These tunnels were designed in a rather complicated way, with a ceiling of reinforced concrete 8 meters thick, enough to withstand a tactical nuclear bomb attack. Power supply, water, drainage, underground cable of Azov store factory are arranged in these tunnels. The tunnels in Azov store are set to connect to each other, but not to a neighboring city, according to the Guardian. Azov store became the last stronghold of Ukrainian forces defending the port city of Mariupol. The system of solid tunnels crisscrossed inside the factory creates ideal hiding and moving conditions for the thousands of Ukrainian servicemen in Mariupol and about 1,000 civilians trapped in the area since Russia surrounded the city. The 90-year-old metallurgical steel plant was almost completely destroyed by Russian forces during the siege of Mariupol and has been surrounded by Russian troops since early March. The entire city has had limited access to food and water throughout the blockade and bombardment. The factory has since emerged as the last pocket of organized resistance in the siege.